and Nate here with the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel and today we are starting our 2018 world tour. Yeah, we're going to a bunch of places. Well guys, I'm doing something that I've wanted to do for a long time. I've taken a month off of work and we are going to pretty much travel the world. I have 29 airline tickets and we are going to be going crazy. We've got some amazing things planned and I'm going to bring you guys along for the ride. Are you guys excited to do our world tour? Yeah! yeah! Holy mackerel, look at that pile of luggage. <laughs> we made it. We're alive. We're here. It's our pleasure to welcome you to Salt Lake City where the local time is 7.55 p.m. Tommy, we made it to Salt Lake City, buddy. You excited? Mm -hmm. Glad to see Grandma and Grandpa? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Oh yeah, it's it's gonna be off the hook, Shelly. Off the hook. Come over here. Oh, those kids wake up early. I think we're just going to take it nice and easy, uh, go go visit a relative, maybe drive around a little bit, and just hang out. <laughs> hey Nathan, will you play with me? Yeah. Will you play with me? Yeah. Play with me! Play with me! Ah! Ah! <laughs> nice just to have a relaxing, lazy Sunday morning. <laughs> Why do they even have that? How long has that been behind me? Nathan, are you ready for church? Yeah. Tommy, are you ready for church? Yeah, I'm ready for You have no me. pants. <laughs> oh, look at that. That is one cute baby. Look at those little cake boobies. Just like daddy. Uh, hey, Nathan, did you have fun at church? Mm -hmm. What did you do at church? Nighty Hey, what are you guys up to? Exercising. 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 Oh. It's not for me to do the punching bag. <laughs> 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 trying to keep Sunday pretty low key, but one of the things we are going to do is we're going to go up to Downey, Idaho and visit my uncle. I haven't seen him in five years. He hasn't met Nathan and, and Jacob yet. So. The twins now became Well guys, welcome to Idaho, our second state in our world tour. We made it, but oh, my back is sore. He's happy. Oh, oh my gosh. You know I'm having about five. It's uh, oh, primarily it's agriculture. Silva trying to finish it. Anderson Silva looking to choke out Anderson. Dan is in deep trouble. Oh, this is so squid. <sighs> Just two hours. So we're out in the middle of nowhere here in Chesterfield, Idaho. It's an old pioneer town, a ghost town of sorts. Oh guys, you should not go here because there's zombies here and vampires here and ghosts here. So ghost town means there's lots of ghosts? Yeah. 
Check it out. This is the old tithing office. Oh, check this out. So you guys can see that inside it's restored too. They got the old stove and they got the picture of the prophet Joseph Smith and the prophet Brigham Young over there in the corner. Yeah, is that cool? Maybe yeah. yep. Is this fun, Tommy? Yeah. So apparently this town was one of the many towns along the Oregon Trail. So hopefully none of us will die of cholera. Simon. Loveland Simon. Okay. The Loveland's lived here first. <laughs> this photograph works. Oh, cool. When I was in the fourth grade, I bought one like this for 10 bucks. <laughs> yeah, that's playing music. Isn't that something? This right there, that's a chamber pot. That's for pooping. For at the middle of the night, if you need to use the potty, you don't want to go out to the outhouse, you use the chamber pot. Right there, see where I'm pointing? That's the potty. You want to go check out the potty? Yeah. Cool thing about this place is it's the families, the ancestors of these original pioneers that are fixing this up and restoring this entire town. This isn't a park or anything. This is just people preserving history. Going inside, Nathan? To all people who used to live in the town. Butch Cassidy, man. Actually, Butch Cassidy's got his roots in Utah. Apparently, he stole the horses of the guys that founded this town. All right, guys, hold on tight. This is a lot more fun than riding on the inside of the car. I never farted today. You farted four times? Yeah. Yeah, check this out. This is old dugout cabin here. Got the outhouse in the back cobblestone they dig into the hillside like a hobbit hole and then you plant uh grass on the roof there's the you're getting wet <laughs> come out come back here guys get away from the sprinkler you want to ride in the back all the way back to salt lake yeah that's not happening it's day three and we've got some exciting things planned today and i asked nathan what he wants to do for breakfast and he says be poopy and eat eyeball soup <laughs> I think I better be the one calling the shots for breakfast today. That's a bacon oh, and stuff. We got Ooh. those are the fresh fruit crepes. Ooh, wow. We got the fresh fruit French toast. Wow. Buckwheat blueberry pancakes. Oh, wow. Bacon waffles. Wow. We got fruit uh, oh. pancakes and oh. then a bunch of bake uh, sausage. Wow. You like that? That looks pretty good, huh? Yeah. Are right, you guys excited to go up to the cabin? Yes! Let's go hunt bear! Yay! Back in the back seat! Planting seeds. Rebuild that. Okay. Let me get you a Look at that little play slide. Alright guys, you want to go up on the four-wheeler again? Yeah! You guys having fun? Yeah! You want to go faster? Yeah, yeah. faster as ever! <laughs> All right. I can make it yeah. A bear has gone and scraped, scraped the tree. Here's his claw marks on this side, and his claw marks on this side, and he's, he's marked his territory. Look at this view, guys. Look at this. Not too shabby, huh? Oh. Look at that. Yeah. Go ahead, make a wish, Tommy. He is huge. Look at the size of those seeds. All right, guys. Go get it. Hey, you, sweetie. Kind of Thank you. Thank you. Let me, let me take a look at that. <laughs> nice. Maybe, maybe I haven't had a chance to just put my arm around yeah, you I much. Know. I think I subscribers. <laughs> All right, Dom. Get buckled up in there. Hey, Becca, did you have a good time? I had a great time. Ah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to brush those teeth. Oh, your nose is dirty, too. Let's brush your nose. No. Even kind Edward. Here we are at Salem Lake in Utah. Becca and her parents might come and join us and do a little picnicking later. I got some bites. Yeah, you got a bunch of bites. Come on, get it. Whoa, don't want to get 
rainbow trout. All right, hold on, hold, keep it right there. No, it's not a rainbow trout. Check this out. Holy mackerel, what's a white bass doing here? No, I want to, I want to throw him back. Okay, good, throw him back. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> There you go, reel him in. Yeah. He's yours. You guys having fun though? Yeah. That's good. There's Tommy warming up in the sun. There's Nathan just doing whatever Tommy does. Are you guys tired? Are you hungry? Could you use a hamburger and some ice cream? Snowman. Feeling better? Mm -hmm. All right, guys, come follow me. You guys like this playset? Yeah. That's, that's our T-shirt. Oh, that that's a T-shirt you made? Yeah. Look at those little people. Oh, nice. Yeah. All those people gave you that shirt. That's really nice of them. Well, the kids have had a good time, but we are sunburned and tired, and it is time to go home because we need to pack. We're leaving for Las Vegas, then Japan tomorrow morning. So, ready to go, babe? Yep. What about me? Let's do this. Wait, I'm looking for Nathan. Has anyone seen Nathan? He's on your back! Where? <laughs> on your back! He's on Where? I'm wearing a Nathan. It's the latest fashion. Everyone's going to be doing it this year. No! <laughs> Go to bed! 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 Me, Mommy, and Tommy here are going to head off towards Las Vegas and then eventually to Japan. Now, Tommy, do you know how to say hello in Japanese? Konnichiwa! Nailed it! How do you say ninja in Japanese? Ninja! Ninja! <laughs> <laughs> I wish we could bring Nathan and Jacob with us to Japan, but Becca's going for a work conference. So she's going to be in meetings most of the time. And having three boys in Japan is a little bit much. I'm going to miss my boy, but we'll be back soon. And you're going to have fun with Grandma and Grandpa and cousins and get to do some cool stuff. Are going to be okay leaving our little boys? <laughs> oh, I love you, Becca. It's going to be hard leaving these little boys behind. <sighs> I'm going to miss you. Tell me, are you sad about Nathan? Yeah. I love you, buddy. It's going to be okay. You'll see him. We'll get a Skype with him, okay? Rooms, and he'd been able to unlock. Unfortunately. He'd suit a match until the surrender. Like the noise. Welcome to Nevada, Tommy. It's 108 degrees outside. Hey guys, I can see Las Vegas. We're almost here, Tommy. Man, it's been six hours in the car. You've done really well. Oh, there we go. Beyond's still doing shows here. Some guy took my bags, and I sincerely hope he works for the hotel. Otherwise, our trip just got really expensive. Nothing more promising. How cool is that? You get to sit in a massive deep tub, eating pizza, watching the fountain and fireworks on the 4th of July. Tommy, you're a lucky boy, you know that? This ain't too bad though, eating a fresh roll with honey butter on the balcony early in the morning. This is nice. This looks delicious. Tommy's lamb. <laughs> Love you. Don't shoot my eye out. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, got my ride here. I'm going to Battlefield Vegas. We're going to be shooting some guns here. And uh, my ride just picked me up in a Humvee here at the hotel. Check that out. Holy mackerel. Yeah, I want to shoot that. <laughs> place is intense. If you like guns, this this is the stuff, man. But I want to check outside here. You know, this place actually rents a tank and for like $3,000 or something, you can rent the tank and then drive over a car. Hey guys, check it out. I'm in a Huey. Oh, this is like a legit museum here. 
Look at that. It's kind of nice, guys. You come in and check in, and the guys get all your guns and ammo ready, and then they page you with this little thing of a jiggy when you're ready, and you can just uh, check out all the tanks and everything while you wait. All right, guys, it's go time. <laughs> Holy mackerel. A belt fed machine gun and it's automatic all the time. And the longer you hold the trigger, the better. Oh, yeah, is this what they call a saw like the squad operated weapon kind of thing? Or squad automatic, or weapon. automatic weapon. Oh, that's fun. You're using a little peep sight, okay? The front sight, uh, hard upward squeeze on that trigger, okay? Three, 30 out six, 30 out six. Holy mackerel. Shot a bolt action 30 out six before, but this is this is gonna be way better. <laughs> that is cool. <laughs> that is cool. It's one of my favorite weapons here. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. Three, two, one, go! I knew it was going to be cool. That was cooler than I thought. So we're going to go do the vault tour. Holy mackerel. Look at that. Oh, that's anti... I almost got that one. That's the anti-tank one, right? That's the lobby. Oh, geez. Originally chambered in 20 millimeter. Uh, ours is chambered in 50. Just so we can shoot it. Yeah, just, just so you can buy rounds. <laughs> this is awesome, guys. Well, hey, thank you very much, oh, man. No this is a great tour. Glad you enjoyed. <laughs> oh, I had a ball. I had a ball. <laughs> the mortar. That's awesome. Guys, look, definitely, you got to check out Battlefield Vegas. If you have two minutes to rub together in Las Vegas, check this place out. I'll put a link in the description to their details and their website. Yeah, is that cool, Tommy? That's from a machine gun. Here we go, Becca. We're getting close. You ready to race? I hope so. <laughs> go, Sonic Rentals. Uh, so, I'm really excited for this. Becca's gonna get to drive a race car. But the the funny part about this whole thing is, six months ago, my dear sweet wife suffered a serious nerve injury giving birth to our youngest child because of that she has not been allowed to drive for six months <laughs> this will be your real your first real driving experience in six months won't it yeah <laughs> way to jump in the deep end of the pool baby let's do it huh. the dodge charger hellcat i believe Couple Ferraris. Oh, look, another Ferrari. How are you guys doing? Doing well. Really well. <laughs> All right, so uh, we'll go do a couple laps around. Okay. Watch where I drive. Drive the same path. And you ready to go fast, buddy? <laughs> All the way back over to the right side, waiting for the green. Come over the hill with the little light brakes. That's there much better. That's how we like it. <laughs> Let's get All right. Happy birthday. Becca, you're making helmets so sexy right now. <laughs> yeah. Come on, posse. Let's go. Remember, Becca. Remember everything we learned from watching Ricky Bobby. Just go like the wind. I'm so glad to see her doing this. I was so worried she wouldn't be able to get behind the wheel. You know, it doesn't matter how fast she goes, as long as she's having fun. I think she's having a ball. <laughs> Upshift of once more, reaching up a little bit further oh, for no, 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 no. no worries. There, there's mom! A, an adorable slow white speck in the horizon. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Holy mackerel. Was that loads of fun? Yeah, it was really you 
look great out there, babe. Yeah, I look great. You guys have a good time? Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, we need to get heading to Los Angeles. We got a plane to catch. You know, this is the Mojave Desert, Tom. Here we are in Baker, California, in the Mojave Desert, and it is 109 degrees outside. Let's go outside and pump some gas. Baker Gateway to Death Valley. We just drove past the world's tallest thermometer. Unfortunately, it's a rectal one. I've invited them to dine with us. There's a crazy fire over there. Five hours later, we're in LA, baby. All right, let's go get checked in. Oh, they got water. Mm -hmm. I have there's fish down there. Do you see it? Been around the house. All right, Tommy, let's get you ready for bed, bud. Well, good morning and welcome to another beautiful day. We are going to Japan today and I am so excited. Aren't you presenting at a conference in Japan? Yes. Are you ready? No, I haven't done it yet. I'm going to do my presentation on the plane. I have to. We're going to distract you. No, I have to get it done. You're going to get so distracted. You think you can sit next to all of this and not get distracted? <laughs> Come on. Come on, Tom. Get your boots on. We're going to get breakfast. There are your boots. Put your boots on. Boots, 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 boots. Please, they're right there. Just put your feet in them. Take boots! Oh, put your boots on! Boots! Boots! <laughs> boots! It's like this every time. Check it out, it's the beach. Look at that, that's the Pacific Ocean. Well, we put our foot in the Pacific Ocean. Tommy's got himself sandy and wet. And we found a shell for mommy. I think it's time to go to the airport. Hi. <laughs> I hope you guys are being good for Grandma and Grandpa. Kiwi juice. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Tell me you back there. We made it to Osaka. We've got to get over to Kyoto. It's about an hour and change away. Okay, go for it, Tom. Good job, buddy. Ooh, I'm tired. And we're here. Finally. Okay, let's see here. Oh, yeah, let's check this place out. Okay, so we got the Ginkan. You gotta take your shoes off in the Japanese house. <laughs> Look at this, Tom. Yep, that's called a kotats. That's what that little table's called. And this is tatami mat. Okay. What? It's a restaurant bathroom? Yeah. So check it out, guys. We got a modern Japanese toilet here. It comes with a control panel, it's the bidet feature, there's the high powered butt cleaning, and this is sets the temperature, so if you want warm water to clean your butt. Well, we got ourselves settled in. I'm gonna go out and get some food for the family. Did you bring chopsticks? There you go, guys, that's a Moss Burger right there. It's like barbecue sauce, mayonnaise, a veggie patty, and some tomato, or you can get the pork cutlet burger, which is deep fried pork cutlet with shredded cabbage. Nice. It has been a long couple days, but we are here in Japan. Good night, everybody. Me and Tommy are all jacked up. We woke up at five in the morning and uh, we just can't sleep, but mama can. So we're gonna go out and explore the city a little bit and get something to eat. Look at this, Tom. 
What is that? That is the skin of a cicada. Is it something that stings you? No, no, it's friendly. Hey Tom, you see what that is? That's a turntable. You park your car on it and it spins around and lets you turn around. Yeah, does that feel good, bud? You want a really good apple? Yeah, yeah. Look at that. That's that's five dollars. That's five dollars and fifty cents for two apples. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we don't need to buy tons of them. Oh, I remember these. These are little peanut sandwiches. Oh, I love these. Ramune. Okay, should we get one for you? Yeah, is there a marble in it? There, are, there is. Open this up. And you get this little plunger here. Take the plunger out. Weak. And it pushes this marble that's blocking the hole like a cork, pushes it down into the bottle. And then there's this marble sitting in there. See how you can see this marble? Traditional original flavor ramane tastes a little bit like a Sprite, but different. Definitely different, but that's the closest thing to compare it to. What is it? It's a peanut butter sandwich. Is it this? this it's is bread this? and peanut butter. Eat it. Bread and peanut butter? Normal. You want to ride on my shoulders? Yeah. Oh, Tommy! Back of my head is wet. Call me ramane head. Ramane. <laughs> I lived in southern Japan for two years as a missionary for the Mormon Church and I've been back to visit one time with Becca one of the best times of my life yeah. it's even my best time in my life because I got ramen and I got marble inside it's fun walking by everyone's houses you see lots of interesting things and most of the houses here have a fire bucket full of water on the front porch yeah see there's their fire bucket there's their fire bucket. There's yeah. the fire bucket. Another fire bucket. Fire bucket. And yeah. a statue of a priest. This is a little neighborhood shrine. People will burn incense there and put little offerings there. Flowers or sake or little treats. And then they ring the bell and say a prayer. Hey look, it's a dabbing cat. <laughs> See Tommy, this is what mama wants. Okay, we're gonna put that. Okay, don't drop it. Don't drop it. Yeah, we'll get one for you. Love me some crooked. Should we get one of these? Careful. There you go. Konnichiwa is hello. And Ohio is good morning. Ohio. Konnichiwa. Bye bye. <laughs> Your vocabulary is growing. It is a croquette. It's like a deep fried pastry, usually with some sort of meat or curry filling or something. So I didn't read the carefully what was in there. So, oh, it looks like it's got a curried egg inside. So we drank the ramen a, and Tommy wants the marble out. So go and unscrew that and then give it a good squeeze. Pop. And there you go. There's the marble. You want that? Yeah. Two marbles. Yes! I'm the luckiest boy ever! Well, I'm feeling a little grimy after that two mile walk. And so I'm gonna take a bath, but check this out. This is a Japanese bath. The tubs are not for cleaning. They're for soaking and relaxing. You wash here in the shower area. And then if you wanna take a bath, you soak in the tub after you've cleaned yourself. Well guys, after breakfast and one of the most luxurious showers of my life, the family and I are going to go hit the church. Which will be interesting because two out of the three members of this household don't speak Japanese that well. So it's going to be interesting. Tell me, is this better than walking? Yeah. We're here at church. Uh, I'll see you in a little bit. Well, that was fun. Did you have a good time? I had a good time. Well, I got myself changed into some comfy clothes and we're about to go out sightseeing. But I was thumbing through the home's instruction manual and I saw this great tutorial on how to use a potty. Well, I'm excited to go out on a walk with my lovely wife, but I gotta admit, I'm exhausted. Hey, look at that, Tom. Yeah, this is the Toji Temple. There. You see him? There is fist. We're here at a ramen shop. We're gonna get some croquet, some gyoza, some ramen, and uh, hopefully Tommy won't pass out. Well, it's not too late. He's passed out. 
All right, we got some gyoza, some kroge, and ramen. Oh, Tommy zonked out. He's so tired, he fell out of his chair and hit his head. And then uh, when we woke him up, he dropped his soda glass and broke it all over the place. Poor guy's exhausted. Let's get him to bed. Well, welcome to another beautiful day. We're gonna get Mama some food and uh, maybe we'll get a bicycle or something. Okay. I get one. Good. Oh. Arigato, Arigato. 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 Yeah, it's a boat. All right, guys, we're just riding our bikes. I see a Shimano sign and a bunch of pictures of fish. It's a fishing store, a Tsuriya sign. <laughs> Check it out, that's a eel trap right there. Oh, this place is awesome. This nice lady here is telling me that the river has uh, catfish in it, and so she's sold me some stuff for catfish and I'm gonna get myself a license and uh, we're gonna see what happens. So check it out, this is called gyotaku. Take and put a little ink on the fish you catch. You press it down on the paper and then a way of preserving your fish, kind of like taxidermy. All right, Tom, it's hot. Let's get some, something to drink and Whoa! get some ice cream. That's pineapple. You wanna try that? You wanna try? Pineapple. All right, pineapple fanta. I knew that Yeah, hold on to that. There you go. That's like ice cream cotton candy. It's a watermelon cone. You like that? Oh yeah, it's actually great ice. Watermelon flavored popsicle with chocolate seeds. Oh, look at this fishing shop, Tom. This is pretty cool. Check this out, we got a big old fishing store here. This is this is what we're looking for. Look at the size of these floats. Look at these. It's bigger than Tommy. Look at this float section. This is amazing. Yeah, look at that. Oh, rod cases. Oh, look at that. That is gonna be expensive lure. These are the telescopic landing nets. These are awesome. All right, let's go. No booster seat, you're riding like a big boy. What do you think, Tom? Is that cool? Samurai armor, and that's a samurai sword. See, come on inside, bud. Here, put the sandals on. They got the kendo stuff? Yeah. Yeah, isn't that cool? That's three hundred and ninety dollars. Cool. That's how cool that is. Okay. Ah, hello, Kitty Kendo. You gonna you gonna Kendo fight me? <laughs> Are you attacking me? Yeah. Are you attacking? Me? Ah! Ah! Hey! Hey, Tom. Have a good day. Now, Tommy, do you want to go up to the top? Yeah. More moving stairs. Yeah, we're getting up pretty high, aren't we? These escalators are just like crazy tall, Tommy. All right, 11 stories of escalators later. I think we're at the roof. You want to go up to the very roof, Tom? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Fun little view. All right, Tommy, you want to get a peach smoothie? Yeah. Okay, we'll get a peach smoothie. Getting some shish kebab for lunch. Tommy wants some meat. Arigato. All right, Tommy. Yes. This is so cool. Nathan's gonna love this. Let's go try another fishing store. Look at that, Tom. Those are uh, for sharpening knives. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. Wow. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow. Hey, Tom, what do you think? Carp bait. But I think it's a pickaroon fish bonker. That is awesome. All right, so we're buying a couple rods, a few reels, another rod bag. I have an addiction. I admit that. Here, why don't you show mommy your samurai sword? Oh, I 
it has some give. It has some give to it. It's not a solid piece of wood. It... Okay, okay. okay. Stop attacking mommy. Okay. Do that, Tommy. Yaki Niku Den. Let's do it. Hey guys, we're here at this all you can eat Yaki Niku place, and it's a buffet, and we're supposed to select what we want off this menu. Unfortunately, my ability to read kanji or the Chinese characters, and so I hope I've ordered beef, but uh, we'll see. Well, Tommy's falling asleep again, but the food is great, and uh, <laughs> we're having a good time. Ready. What your name is? Matsuyuki? Masayuki. Masayuki. Ippe. Ippe. Masayuki to Ippe san. They're going to help us out. We're going to do some Japanese style fishing here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's let's go fishing. We're going to fish in Japanese style. Oh. 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 Yeah, you can see him just jumping all over the place. Yeah. We're here at the fishing spot and we're gonna fish for something called a nigoi. There we go. Now we're waiting. <laughs> Look at the size of that. Oh, oh. If he gets on the camera, I'll have to throw it away and buy a new one. Look at these guys, they're hooking me up, man. I got myself an onigiri. <laughs> so onigiri is a little ball of rice covered in seaweed, usually with a surprise inside. <laughs> so, mm. Salmon, ooh, this one has salmon inside. Onigiri time. Mmm, <laughs> but salmon. <laughs> Tommy, you want to reel this one in? Fish is taking full power. There you go. Mm. <laughs> okay. We'll never do it. Okay. Yay, Tommy. This is my first Nigoi? Yeah, it's your first Nigoi. This is a pirate Nigoi. Yeah, it's a pirate Nigoi because he's missing an eye. That makes him a pirate. Arr. Gozo. Guys, this is awesome. Those fish fight hard. Man, they're really a great fish. And, uh, and we're just having a kick in the pants. We're having fun, Tom? Yeah, I got kicked in the pants. And that <laughs> got kicked in the pants. You're <laughs> a zebra. I know. <laughs> Holy mackerel. Do, don't say that. <laughs> oh, no good. <laughs> I think you've been out in the sun. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, that loaded up. All right. What pound line do I have? Uh, 16 pounds. 16? 16. Okay. <laughs> Holy mackerel. <laughs> oh, is that pretty? Is that pretty? Don't you remember? Don't you remember? That I caught. Okay. Oh. Let's see, let's see. Hi, hi. Here we go. Here we yeah. go. Okay. Yes, sir. Oh, thank God. Oh man! Good job! Well, that, that is a big carp. That is a big carp. That is my first Japanese carp. Look at the lips on that. Bye bye. Arigato. Arigato. Yosh. That's a nice carp. That is a beautiful Japanese carp. We're going to hop in the car, go up to a different spot, and try a different species of fish. Yeah, we both smell like fish. That's when we know we've been successful. Lake Biwa. thing is beautiful and massive. Look at all the rice fields. Yay! So right now, we're at another bridge right here next to a farm field. We've got a little stream that dumps in and has carved out a little deep spot there. And uh, we're going to fish for Tanago. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> oh look at this. Oh, oh. 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 O
Look at that. Look at that. That looks like a daze. That is cool. All right. That is my first tom Kawamutsu. Kawamutsu. It's a Kawamutsu. That's. Look at this hook. This looks like a size 26, maybe. A little bit of blood worm on it. Some split shot. And here's my bobber. Check that out. Isn't that cool? <laughs> oh, oh, this is different. Look at that. I did it. That's mine. Oh, is this a rare one? Yeah, but this is very rare. Because it's got the black on it? Yeah. Is it mine? Oh. Do you see the red color over here? Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Well, that is species number four and five. So, five species of fish today. <laughs> Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? Oh, I can see him. I can see him. I can see him. Yeah! Gentle! We're so gentle! We're like a breeze! Tanago! Tanago! Yata! Oh! Oh, he's green! Yeah, Ooh. nice male. Yeah! <laughs> Tough. Show, show the kid. Oh, Whoa. there's your frog! Look, there's another frog. Grasshopper! Whoa. Grasshopper! <laughs> <laughs> Way to go! Tommy's the frog catching champion. Come on, Tommy! No more frogs! You gotta go! You getting, you getting tired, Tommy? All right, guys, we're gonna try to catch a Japanese catfish. Now, they look a little bit like a Wells catfish, a little bit eel like. We are tired, we are sweaty, <laughs> and uh, I think it's time to get this boy home. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> we had a great time, guys. Thank you very much. There could be fish here, but they didn't catch me. Thank you, Thank so much. you very much. Thank you. Yeah, I had such a good time. <laughs> Have a nice day. Today, me and Tommy, we're gonna do a lot of sightseeing, and we're gonna get some breakfast. You hungry? Yeah, and we're going to go bye. Yeah, let's go on a bike. So nostalgic. Frosted Freaks. There you go, two and a half dollar peach. Hey Tommy, this is spaghetti and chicken nuggets. You want that? Spaghetti and chicken nuggets and rice? All right, let's get you one of those. And go get me an onigiri. Tommy, you want to go see a samurai castle? That's going to be pretty cool. Need Joe Castle okay. or need Jojo. Look at that. That is huge. <laughs> so Tommy, you happy with that? You like that? Well, that shave ice and rest hit the spot. Yes. Tommy only hurt himself twice, but we got to chat with some very nice people from Kyoto. Got a misting tunnel to cool us off. Mm. I'm getting wetter because I'm taller. I want to do that again. I want to go back in that tunnel. That's nice. All right, buddy, come on. To Goncho, oh, Gosho, on a guy
out the Emperor's Palace in like 30 minutes. We're gonna go hit the Gion District really quick. Here we are in the Gion District. We're gonna go get a rickshaw for about an hour tour. Um, and we're about to make a very nice Japanese man work very, very hard. Yamada-san,だった。頑張って。頑張って。頑張って。頑張って。頑張って。頑張って。頑張って。頑張って。頑張って。頑張って。頑張って。頑張って。頑張って。頑張って。頑張って。頑張って。頑張って。頑張って。
Yeah, look at that. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that cool? It's kind of blue, isn't it? Hi, like Dad. This is with bamboo rods. Yes. It's an old temple built by the shogun, Tokugawa shogun. And uh, not a single nail in there. We got ready to join those ladies on the bike. Yeah. <laughs> it's a Meiji convertible. Okay. All right. Well, that rickshaw ride was fun. We had a good time. Okonomiyaki has a Check it out, we got some yakisoba here and we got okonomiyaki. It's a, a pancake kind of like thing. Only it's got like cabbage and vegetables and egg and ginger and meat in there. <laughs> it's a real owl, and you can touch him. Slowly. Oh! Kind of <laughs> you bit you a little bit. Do you want it? No, no, no. You're gonna totally bite me. Oh, that's a barn owl. That's from Virginia. Whoa. Yes, he's not sad. <laughs> he's not sad. I don't think I want to try this one. Nope, nope, not trying that one. Oh, he's like, who touched me? Who touched me? <laughs> hey, come on, let's go inside. Let's get one. Hello. Hello, my name is Tommy the Owl. Hello, my name is Tommy the Owl. <laughs> Hello, my name is Tommy. <laughs> All right, we're doing it. We're getting the slightly overpriced talking owls. Look at these umbrellas. They're samurai swords, see? Get a pretty handkerchief for mom. Arigato. All right, come on, here, have a keep going. Oh, the good times. Well, good morning. I'm going fishing and only have an hour or two before Tommy and Becca wake up. Then we're gonna do some more sightseeing. But uh, it's a beautiful day. Not too hot yet. I got a good feeling about today. I'll tell you what, these river carp sure are feisty. He's not a very big boy, but man, he put up a fight. There we go. Off you go. Oh, I'm gonna fall in here. Well, it's eight in the morning and I'm already a big ball of sweat, but it was totally worth it. Me and Tommy are going to cruise around to the Gion district. Don't have a lot of plans, um, so we're just gonna have some fun. So me and Tom stopped at a pharmacy to pick up some sunscreen because, you know, we kind of need it. And uh, I bought this stuff. It's sunscreen plus cooling, which sounds good, but I think it's just got menthol in it. Now my face feels like it's both cold and burning at the same time. It's like I've smeared icy hot in my eyes. Me and Becca have a tradition that every time we go to a foreign country, we pick up a kid's book. We need to do that too, so I'm gonna start hitting bookstores. See if we can find something. Look at this one. What? This one's got all the different animals. Is that cool? Is that a cool book? Yeah. We got an antique Japanese book about a mythological baby that rides a bear and has a giant battle axe. That seemed pretty cool to me. So this right here is one of the biggest show tents I've ever been in. It's, in, it's a little west of the Gion district, in Kyoto, and it's pretty awesome. Ooh, knife store. Oh, look at that. There's like a bearded cleaver. That's a Higo no Kami knife. 
Those are axes and look at those sheaves. Okay, I think I ended up buying out half the story. All right, well, we found a little place to eat here. They've got some oyakodon and beef curry. It looks classy. Let's, let's give it a try. You ready, bud? Yeah. Look at this. This is nice. So this is rice and beef curry and beef salad. Beef. And this is oyakodon, which is egg and chicken on rice. There's some pickled vegetables. And uh, we got a little soup here as well. Look at that, Tom. So do I. ちょっとちょっとだけ。ああ、いう。ああ、すごい。みたいですか?みたい。はい。これは。ノーワイルド。ノー。ノーワイルドフィッシュ。ああ、イエローマーク。ああ、薄い。ああ、オッケー、フロ
Oh, there you go. Well, this really better be my last carp. I gotta get going home. I know my wife bitches to do some sightseeing. So I'm gonna put this guy back, but oh, this has been so much fun. Look at that. Yeah. All right, this is Osaka, second biggest city in Japan. Tommy, you ready to see a samurai cast? Yeah. Punch. <laughs> you saw a little fish attack the turtle? Yeah. That's cool. Main tower, the main castle in Sakajo. And uh, we're gonna go inside, check it out. I am a sweaty man. Very, very sweaty man. So you can either take the elevator or there's no line to take the stairs. In 100 degree heat, everyone's taking the elevator. <laughs> well, this is the top of the castle. Nice view. What is that boat down there? And can you go fishing? That's what I wanna know. You got the giant carp right there. Oh, oh yeah, the little breeze is nice. Yeah, that was way cool. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at the samurai sword. Hi, <laughs> Hey, buddy, come on over here. <laughs> oh, yeah, we get a picture. <laughs> All right, that was pretty awesome. Tommy got his uh, photo taken in the little samurai costume. <laughs> it is hot and humid, and there's a weight on my shoulder. Tommy, you taking a little break? It's hard work being on dad's shoulders, isn't it? Hey, Tommy. <laughs> Tommy, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Look at this. Yeah, he didn't pee himself. I wet his pants, not the other way around. <laughs> That's one sweaty neck. Oh. Oh. Tommy has taken to making farting noises in the back of taxis. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. like that. Just because he can. Oh, Sato <laughs> Okay, guys, well, I'm in here in Osaka <laughs> with my good friend, Mr. Sato, also known as Takeya. We go way back. When I was, when me and him were in our 20s, we were missionaries in Kyushu together. Oh, Futo Chata! Yeah, he looks exactly the same because he's Japanese and will never age. Sato, kudomo taji! Hi! Ogeki desu ka? No! No! Genki de wo yai! Check this place out. They've got minion jimbeis. That's cute. That's, that's cute. What do you think? You want, you want that? Yeah. You want that? Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Come back. Oh yeah, we got our Dragon Ball Z shirt, sweat towel. Mmm. I'm pretty excited to see what happens. It is crazy crowded in there. We've been waiting to get in because, of course. The Japanese people are wonderful and they appreciate a restaurant where you can catch and fish for your own dinner. All of these uh, fish and tanks here and they rent you fishing poles and you pay for bait and you go and you catch it and then you they charge you based on how you have it cooked. This place is awesome. All right, that is a good looking baited hook right there. Sumimasen, go shitsure itadakimasu. Takeo's going for the big boy. Go for it, Tom. Oh, right by his mouth. 
Yeah, these guys are not in an eating mood. See if you can snag one. <laughs> That's Tommy's fish. That's his uh, pink sea brim right there. That's uh, sushi style. That's uh, ginger. <laughs> All right, Tom. Here. Hey, Tommy, do you like your sushi? Hey, Becca. <laughs> what, what do you think? It didn't taste fishy. That doesn't doesn't taste bad, does it? All right, we're gonna try some of this uh, this pink sea brim sushi here. Oh, there's my fish! <laughs> Hi, I remember you. Tabete. Oishiso. Oishiso, Tai chan, arigato. Are good. Okay, so they want to get some tempura, so they're gonna to try to catch fish with this basket thing. Get him, get him, get him, get him, Tommy, you got him, you got him. Ooh, I got him, fish! Hey, Tommy chan. Yummy, 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 yummy. Yeah, That's all we need, Tommy. Let's go back to the dinner table. All right, let's go, let's go eat those up. Okay, these are the little iwashi fish we caught, the little silver ones in the basket. And it's at moments like this I realize I don't know where my child is. Uh, it's kind of like eating a herring. That was pretty awesome. That was about 250 bucks, which for all of us eating that much fresh seafood isn't too bad actually. Guys, I've got a belly full of fresh fish and we have had a great time. This was a great chance to catch up with some good friends and, and uh, just have a ball. If you guys want to check this out, if you're ever in Osaka, check out Tsurikichi. We are fairly well rested from a late night of partying. And uh, we're going to head back to Osaka and go to church with my friends and uh, then hang out a little bit. Well, we just finished uh, up with church and we're here with the Sato family and we're going to go back and party at their place. Kami, what do you think of the, the, the Mugicha? See? You like it? I do and I don't. <laughs> I do and I don't. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at this. That's that was a much younger man right there. Look at that. That doesn't even look like me. Shiotoro. So they asked if we wanted to see their vegetable garden. And I'm like, heck yeah. Oh. Oh, beautiful. This plant, I don't know what it's called, but they boil the leaves and they make juice out of it. Oh, yeah, sure enough. Look at this. Look at that. Right there. It's edamame. Oh, look at that. Oh, We got some fresh vegetables for dinner here. That's pretty cool. Very good. Look at this. This is a beautiful meal. Are you, are you attacking that corn? Hey, hey Tommy Chan, come here. I bet you were having fun of the Arigato gozaimashita. America ni gite kudasai. Oh, that the kasa ko wa sugoi yo. Tanoshi. Ya tanoshi yo. Mechakcha shiarashi. Good morning guys and welcome to our last day in Japan. Oh. 
it's a little sad. Though I do miss my two little boys that are with Grandma and Grandpa. Daddy, can we go back to Japan again? I, I hope so. <laughs> you go ahead and hop inside. Oh man, I'm sad to leave. What a fun trip. And I think one of the best parts is listening to Tommy say Domo Arigato Gozaya Mustache to everybody. I got the mustache. Nailed it. I think we're going all the way to number 49. Well, it's been about 11 hours and we're just about to land in LA. Yeah. Where's my boys? Where's my boys? Where's my Nathan? David! David! Oh! Look at you! Look what you're doing! Look at those little teeth! Oh. Hi, buddy! Oh! Hey, it's all right. Who, who wants to see presents? Check this out, it's a talking owl. <laughs> look at this. Look at Jacob. Look at your gym bay. You look yeah. so sticky. <laughs> Hello. Little Jacob in his gym bay with little frogs on it. Look at that, it's a Pikachu fishing rod. You know what these are? Kendall sword! Do you like them? Are they cool? Yeah. Okay, tomorrow morning we're gonna get to sword fight, but tonight we gotta get ready for bed. It's past your bedtime. Hey, little Jacob, good morning. Are you ready for breakfast? <laughs> One of the things I miss the most about the USA is American breakfast. I am pretty exhausted, but we're gonna go fishing, aren't we guys? Yeah! All right guys, we're here at Willow Park in Murray, Utah. Come here, get a fish. Come here. Whoa! Come on, find him, buddy. Put your back into it. Okay, you can stop reeling, Nate. Woo! All right, David. There you go, buddy. Ah, oh, beautiful, Tom. Doing good, Dom. Whoa, right there. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, Ty, but that's enough reeling. Now just walk it backwards. Walk it backwards. Up. All right, there we go. Ah, I think this is the longest one. I think it's the biggest one we've had so far. Look at those whiskers on him. Yeah. Here. Here. Oh. Well, I think somebody got tuckered out fishing. What do you think? All right, guys, come on, wake up. Well, we ate a nice dinner. Got the kids to bed at. 8.45, I'm exhausted. <laughs> it's 1 p.m. and I finally put pants on. It's that kind of day, guys. Oh my goodness, I'm so tired. Hey, Nathan, you ready to go on a little adventure? Oh. All right, so we're at the Snowbird Ski Resort here. Well, here we are in the top of uh, Snowbird. Who's on this side? Yeah. Good job. You found your map? Good. The boys want to ride the chairlift down the mountain with me. 
and we need to measure them to see if they're the the required forty two inches. nathan, you are so close, but you're not forty two inches, buddy. all right, let's go, tom. we gotta run. we we gotta get it fast, the fastest way down there. chairlift closes in like ten minutes, and uh, we gotta make it down this mountain. we got a fat old man and an ambitious little boy. And we're gonna see if we can get down there before uh, <laughs> we get stuck. All right, we got two minutes, Tom. Two minutes, we can do it. I'm dying. Hey, Tom, right here, Tom. I need to hold on to you. If I lose you, Mom will kick my butt. Okay, go ahead and sit down. Barb, you pull down if you need it. Holy well, hell. We made it, Tommy. Is this cool? Yeah. Look up there, the tram. That's Mommy and Grandma and Grandpa there. We're, we're racing them. And Grandpa caught the moose Look down if you can see any moose or bears. Wait, Becca wants to try the little uh, mountain coaster and the zip line thing over Jiggy, so we're gonna go see if we can't hunt down some tickets. Woo! Good job, buddy. Here we go! We're gonna put the kids to bed, then I'm gonna put myself to bed, and I'll wake up a little bit more energized tomorrow. <sighs> We're gonna go get some breakfast. Well, I got breakfast squared away. Let's go fishing. Alright, let's do this. <laughs> Close, Tom. We're almost there. Some deserts have rattlesnakes and a tiger wizard that bites you but gets poisoned. All right, looks like it. We're here at Yuba Lake. Yo. Check that out. That's where the water used to be. Look at that, guys. There's about 12 or 15 carp right there. Just tons of them. Oh, Nathan, that's yours. Oh, that didn't take long. Here, go ahead, reel them in. Tommy, I got one! <laughs> yeah. Nice little common car. Congratulations, <laughs> Nathan. <laughs> you like that? Was that fun? Yeah. Come on. All right, let's let him go, shall we? Yeah. Oh, Nathan, Nathan, you got one. Okay, I'll get one. Yeah, you'll probably get one soon, too. Okay. Okay, reel it in fast, like that. Oh, Tommy, you got one too. Go reel them in. Okay, you guys and your crazy double. All right, there we go. Here, okay, get that one. Double. That one was. There you go, guys. You guys are awesome. There you go, Nathan. Another great, another great little common carp there. This one's you. Here, oh, there's your bite. There's your bite, Tom. Go get, get him, pick him up. Oh, another nice little mirror car. There we go. There we go. I think we better get him home here in a little bit. Plus, we have a long drive back, back to the house. So, oh, wait a minute. Is that your diaper? Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. You're naked. Okay, Nathan's gone full nudist on us. Nathan, you're naked. <laughs> but you're naked. <laughs> Did you guys have a fun time? Yeah. Oh, good. All right. Let's go get you guys some food. My wife's brother, Matt, Uncle Matt, is uh, visiting here. And uh, I think if we're lucky, the boys will talk him into some kendo sword fighting. You got a point, Uncle Matt. Yeah, Uncle Matt's a good sport for letting you sword fight with him. Yeah. Gotta go get these packed up. We're leaving tomorrow. All right, we gotta get these kids to bed. I'm tired. Well, we're sitting here packing up and we have a little bit of a big moment here. Jacob started saying, Mama. Mama. Yeah. This is a big get for Becca because Tommy's first word was fish and his second word was Dada. And then several months later, Mama.
Mommy, how hungry are you? I'm so hungry that I can eat a polar bear. You dancing? It's crazy. Kind of nostalgic every time I come to this airport because I remember working on the construction of this uh, airport terminal a long time ago. Local time is 11:55 p.m. and it's the sun is just barely set. Welcome to Alaska. <laughs> What's up? He's not in a fetal position to protect himself well, from bugs. <laughs> I got a belly. Oh. I got Curtis. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Are you glad to see Uncle Curtis? Oh my is is he your favorite? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it! <laughs> We've got to get to bed, so I will pick this up tomorrow morning. We might go over to Grandma and Grandpa's place while everyone else takes their time getting up. Oh, you having fun with Grandma? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So we got a good chunk of the family here in the car and we're gonna go out to breakfast. We, we guys wanna go- the best go... chunk of the family. Oh yeah. <laughs> you guys wanna go to Gwenny's? Yeah! Hey Tom, yeah, see what that is? That's yeah, whale. it's a king salmon. That's whale baleen. That goes inside the mouth of whales. Oh, the 1964 earthquake. My parents were here when this happened. Yeah, look at that. Oh, wow. Sourdough pancakes, reindeer sausage, omelets. Ah, excellent. Look at that. It's pigs in a blanket. Mm. Come on, guys, let's go. We're going to the muskox farm. Out, outside, outside, muskox farm. Go, 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 go. Oh, we picked up a bonus nickels. Hey, Shinley. Hi. Selfie hug. Oh. Look at this swarm of nickels and rappelies here. We are going to descend upon this place. All righty. Yeah, why don't, you, why don't you get rid of the fur? There are not, not a ton to them. If you, if you read. Tommy, behave yourself or the muskox will eat you. Here on the farm, though, we will trim the tips of their horns. It's actually muskox poop. Yeah. Like chocolate it's grapes. super light. Feel free to pass it around yeah, and feel how light it. it is. So much food here, and they know there's no shortage. Ooh, look, Nathan. Let's go. Well, let's go get some ice cream, shall we, guys? It's kind of like cotton candy. You like that? Is that good? Man, I am tired. And apparently, the boys are too, because there was some epic meltdowns on the way home. Yeah, I'm tired. I'm tired. But, you know, we're going to just take it easy, eat with the family, have some hamburgers, and just enjoy a beautiful day. Well, guys, it's 9.30 at night. The kids are in bed. It's late. And I'm going to sleep. It's a beautiful Sunday morning and we're getting all dappered up and ready to go to church. I'm staying here with my sister and she's introduced me to chocolate marshmallow mateys. Never has getting diabetes been so fun. Woo! I'm gonna turn off the camera because apparently vlogging the worship service is frowned upon. Woo! Would you like me to bring you out your steak and uh, tater tots? Sounds delightful. Well, I got myself a very unhealthy lunch here. I'm gonna hang out, let the kids play a little bit. Then we're gonna go visit my grandparents and introduce them to Jacob. This is great grandma, give great grandma a hug. Hey there, mom. 
Is that a toy box? I remember this. I used to play with this when I was a little, little kid. <laughs> Cassette? No. Oh, I'll say goodbye, guys. So Tommy and Nathan are hanging out with the cousins here in the field and they're playing tiger attack. Tiger attack! <laughs> it is bed time! Bed time! Bed time! Man! The kids are already up and playing with cousins and uh, today's a little bit of a question mark day. We've got a big family picnic um, celebrating my parents 50th wedding anniversary but the rest of the day is kind of up in the air. Me and my brother-in-law Curtis here we're gonna see if we can't defeat the Fa Challenge. You, know, you even have to sign a waiver. I'm Elise 18 resident of the United States good physical and mental health. Yeah I'd say good mental health. Oh, man. Oh. Gosh. You should have like a back brace to be carrying that. Oh, holy crap. Yeah, that was pretty good. Curtis, did you just immediately panic? You know, it's actually really tasty pho. So in case you don't know what pho is, it's a Vietnamese dish and it usually has lots of different types of uh, meat, usually pork or beef. Uh, and uh, you have bean sprouts, you have Thai basil, um, green onions, limes. There's this really yummy sweet brown sauce you put in there. That's good. Or if you like it a little spicy, you can put a little uh, sriracha sauce in there. I feel like I've eaten so much, but it hasn't touched it. Mm -mm. Look at this, guys. There is just noodles upon noodles. I'm not worried about winning at this, but I'm just worried about not shaming myself. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Massage it. Massage it. Compact the food. You gotta enjoy it as it goes down. This, this is way buddy. more fun. Just watching. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I am really full. I'm starting to fight that little regurgitation reflex. It's like swallowing things twice. <laughs> Smiling on the outside, but I'm crying on the inside. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Don't make me laugh, Curtis. I'm gonna throw up in my bowl. If you're ever in Anchorage and you want to try the ultimate pho challenge, please come to Fanatic and uh, look for me and Curtis's photo up here on the wall, the, the wall of shame. Hey, Becca, we brought leftovers. Yay! <laughs> okay. I can see some trout right there. You can see him right there. I can see him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Here. Come on. Yay. Here, just raise them up. Yeah. yeah, nice little rainbow trout. Oh, there he goes. Oh, there. Nate, Tom, you want to reel this one? Okay. Let's see. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Nathan, did you want to fish? Here, come here. Come on, reel them in. Yeah. See? There he goes. All right, guys, let's go to that family picnic, shall we? Yeah. Each one costs 20 bucks. You can meet late, but you get there about midnight. Hop on in. All right, guys, you ready to go fishing? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's do it. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> Watch the big grouse right there. Putting on the trumps. Hey, Luke, how expensive is well, it's 6.30 in the morning and I just woke up my brother and we're going salmon fishing. Oh, there you go. My trout rad rod hooked me a silver here. Holy mackerel. Get 
for him to come towards shore. I'll get behind him and pan. Think you got him? Just oh. a little bit. Just, oh. Oh. Got one. <laughs> a little smaller. Yeah, beautiful though. There's beautiful trout. Oh. oh, no, no, no. We got a sucker. There we go. Long nose sucker. That Man, that looks a lot like a nigoi in Japan. Okay, pick him up, Tom. I have a job to do. No. Oh. All right, reel him in, Tom. Oh. Why don't you reel him in? See what happens. Oh. Oh. Why is he wearing Alaska girl? Is he... no. I'm just washing him. Oh. He got away. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> hey, Nate. Don't. Oh. Nathan, are you stuck? All right, let me get you out. Wiggle your feet. Can you stand up? Nathan, you're muddy. Is that better? <laughs> well, guys, we caught about 15 to 20 rainbow trout two or three Dolly Varden. We caught three whitefish and a silver. We're gonna call it a day, get them back to the cabin, warm them up. All right. Four fish. <laughs> Tommy, you feeling better? Nathan, do you feeling better, buddy? Oh, you've got a dirty ear there. Come here and grab daddy. Nathan, you've been picking your face again. Oh, we're taking family photos in an hour. Mom's gonna kill you, and maybe me too. Face you've been All right, guys, you ready to go up <laughs> hiking with the cousins? Okay, we're here at Hatcher's Pass, Alaska, near the Independence Gold Mine. Come on, Nathan, you gotta walk. This is pretty cool, huh? This is gorgeous. We used to come up here as Boy Scouts, and we would uh, camp in the snake snow caves in the wintertime. And then in the daytime, we'd take our sleds and climb up the side of the mountain and sled down. Dad. Oh. Look at that, look at that old cabin. Check out this view. That's pretty cool. Oh no, not the butt crack. Oh, ice wedgie. Oh. There we go, we did it. Hiked all the way up there and back. If you want to do this hike, it's Gold Cord Lake Trail. Nathan, you look a little wet and dirty. When I was a little kid, we used to camp up here, and I remember we snuck into those buildings. They weren't collapsed back then. Ooh. 
the drill. Climb out, it's photo up time. No, joking, it's water. Whoa, it's freezing! Yeah, it's cold in here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah there's the door to the mine. It's all gated up. Hey, well, have you been babysitting Jacob? Yeah, look at this play pit back here. This is perfect. You're a sports utility baby. So many happy memories growing up here. But uh, tomorrow morning, we're getting on a plane, heading to British Columbia. Here we are, we're at the airport. Yeah, look at that. Oh, look. Yeah, look at those two polar bears. Alexa isn't here right now. Alexa! There's no Alexa here. Alexa! Ah, uh, there's no Alexa. Alexa! We don't even own one. Alexa! Yes, no was most interested in the Thalen Park. All right, we're in Canada. Oh, Canada. That's, that's the national anthem. A hundred? We gotta go a hundred! Kilometers an hour. Oh, it's just kilometers. That's like 60. Look at this view. Not too shabby. <laughs> this is like salt. salt. Yeah, it does taste like salt water. <laughs> so I better get him to bed though and get some sleep because we got a long day tomorrow. It's going to be a lot of fun. Good morning, guys. Did you sleep well? Yeah. There you go. Can you guys both fit in there? Want to go ride your bike? All right, let's do this. You like your ice cream? Yeah. See the one dollar coin's got a loon on it. And this is a two dollar <laughs> coin. So it's a loony and a toony. Well this is how I like to see a city. You like your hot dog? Play set. This is serious. You wanna hold? Oh, you're doing good, bud. Oh, whoa! Woo!
food zone. We're gonna go see mama. Well, we were out the door and almost out of the hotel, but one of us pooped his pants. That one. This is where Becca's staying. Class. All right, 20th floor, getting off. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Whoa, look at that view. Yeah, not bad, huh? <laughs> Look at that, they got food stalls, food truck, concerts, magic shows, lots and lots of people. I am exhausted. How about you guys? Hey, Tommy, is the back of my shirt sweaty? You guys want to do a little hiking? Yeah. All right. All right, Tom, come on, stay close, bud. Little fun fact, I used to carve totem poles. So check it out. Here, this pole, I'm pretty sure, is Haida, which is a tribe on an island a little bit north of here. And the pole over here to Tommy's right, I believe, is Kwaki Oodle. Good. Look at that. This moves around a lot. Could be because I'm really fat. There's a whole bunch of people fighting Jesus back there. You got it. You got it. Oh, look at this. We're in like a giant tree fort. Look at that. We are we are legitimately high off the ground. All right, fat dad on the bridge. Well, that was fun, but definitely crowded and not cheap. We got Becca. She's done with her conference for the day, and believe this or not, her birthday is coming up soon. Yeah. Going along the coast, we got the mountains and the water and the crazy kids in the back. I gotta tell you, this is gorgeous. Could you ask for better weather to go up in a plane? <laughs> Happy birthday to you, baby. Thank you. Watch your head. Okay. Pull that down. Okay. Nathan, is this cool? Yeah. Becca, are you excited? I am so excited. <laughs> Have fun, babe. I had a great time. That was beautiful, amazing. I loved it. That was awesome. Look at those. Those are so awesome. Those are so awesome. <laughs>
The Alaskan bush pilots before you know it. Oh yeah. Well guys, we had a great time here with Glacier Air. A beautiful, beautiful sightseeing trip and way cheaper than the other trips down in Vancouver. So if you guys want to check out more information about Glacier Air here in Squamish, we'll go and put a link in the description. So check it out. Here we are at the Watershed Grill. Rumor has it that it's a nice little place to grab some food. All right. They told us it was about a 15 to 30 minute wait for a table. So we're sitting here on a bench watching the river. And I just saw the sunset. Not too bad. It's one of the best waits for a table I've ever had. Come on, buddy. Up here. So in a weird twist, I bought some butter chicken because, you know, I've never eaten Indian food in Canada before. Well, guys, it's our last day here at the hotel, and I just got the bill. It was shocking. We're going to go and have some breakfast, and uh, then we're going to pack up the car, and we're going to get out of here. Are you picking your nose? To celebrate Becca's birthday, I bought her three different types of non-alcoholic mocktails. So we'll see what she thinks. And we got her a balloon. Quickly, before the kids get it. We've got some Korean short rib uh, sliders and some tempura shrimp uh, rolls with some chili sauce on them. Okay. And Nathan's eating mac and cheese, mostly with his fingers. Are you having a good birthday, babe? It's great, it's great. Bye, Becca. Happy birthday. So apparently campfires are banned pretty much everywhere, but I am determined to eat our hot dogs. So we're gonna MacGyver this son of a gun as best I can. Yeah. All right, right behind the dipstick seems to be the hot spot. I think we give it about 10, 15 miles and it should be perfectly cooked. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. That's done. There you go, bud. You guys want s'mores? Oh, I can't have it on the s'more. All right, we got the s'mores sitting on the engine block. We'll let that sit for about 10 minutes. Pull it out like this, and you unroll it. Right. S'more. Mm. There you go. Not a bad engine block s'more. Mm. Oh, these woods are cool. Look at this, Tom. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. Nathan, what do you think of this place? Is this cool? You excited for tomorrow? Yeah. We're going to catch huge fish tomorrow, okay? We'll have a good night and we'll see everyone in the morning. Good night. 7.20 in the morning, we are going sturgeon fishing. Excellent. But that is a northern pike minnow, aka squawfish. There you go, Tommy got a northern pike minnow. You want to catch a sturgeon with him? Don't need a reel anymore. Oh, that's a big one. Look at that. Good job. Look at him. Basically a live bait rig, they're just not live. Ready? Strike, strike, strike! There we're in. Guys, sit down. This one. Oh, I'm sorry. Real, 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 real. You gotta keep that. That's it, you gotta fall. Real, 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 real. Real through the jack. You gotta, it's not like tarpon. You don't bow to them, you're real through. Oh, he's a beast. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. That's high fives. Probably just a touch under six foot. That's a hundred pound fish right there. Sweet. <laughs> That's what we call a good start. All right, should we let him go? Yep, he's good to go. Just turn him sideways, he'll swim away. Woo! Oh, Guys, sit down. Sit down, sit down. 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 Deeper than I thought. 
eight and a half foot, probably 325 to 350 pounds. Yeah. Here he comes. Here he comes. There you go, it's turning into the current. Well, thanks very much. You're that welcome. was loads of fun. I will see you tomorrow morning. Set, here. Same bad time, same bad place. See you right? betcha. See if we can get a bigger one. All right, we'll do it. Are you ready to go swimming? Yes. All right, let's do it. All right, guys. This is cool. You want to go swimming? Yeah. Oh, take your boots off. Take your boots off. <laughs> guys, do you just want me to drag you into the water? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Nathan's swimming. I'm done. What's, what's the matter? I got you. You're holding on to me. You're, you're touching the bottom. Are you having fun? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Nathan's so cute. What am I going to do when he grows up? Love you, Nathan. Now, now. Good Daddy, job. I love her. Oh, that feels substantial. Oh. Yeah, what up? We're going to need a bigger boat. He's eight. That's an eight. Yeah. Oh, he put up a strong fight. Oh. Thumbs up. We're up pushing the current. She should probably take, take off now. There she goes. There she goes. Yeah, that's what we want to see. Right there, all right. So Steve just told me that that sturgeon right there, the one we just landed, was the 50th fish they've caught this year. It was eight feet or longer. That's insane. Ah, uh, you pulled it off, I'll bet you. Whoa! Real. Whoa! All right, Tom, you got me. Don't let me fall in. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh! All right, Tommy, I got him. <laughs> I'll put a lot more information, the Steve Kale's guide service, sturgeonhunter.com. I'll put it in the description if you guys want to see more information. What? All right, Steve. Hey, thanks again. It's a pleasure. All right, Nathan. Head back to the car or I'm going to have to I'm going to have to beat you with a stick. <laughs> Run! I'm going to I'm going to eat you. Ah, oh, Nathan, you better catch up with Tommy. I'm coming for you. My back is sore. Reeling in eight sturgeon in two days. It's a lot of work. But today we're leaving. What? All right, guys, you ready? Yeah. Let's go get Mommy and Jacob. Yay! Oh, you smell so much better than I do. <laughs> oh, yes, you do. The family's all back together. Ooh. Shall we go to the beach? Yeah. Ooh. Look at all these blackberry bushes. Oh, look at a ton of them. Mm. Well, they got rose hips over there. Look at this. This is gorgeous. Becca, I found you a clamshell. Oh, thank you. I love. Oh. oh. Now, do you know how to look for live clams, not just dead ones? Yeah. Look for holes in the sand. See right here, see this hole? See right hole? There's a clam in there. Oh, there he is. See him? Can you see him? It's a, a crab. Uh, oh, it's a crab. You found a little crab. Yes. Oh, hold it right there. Uh, oh, it's a crab, crab, crab. I got it. I got it. You got it. Oh, look what I found. Those ones are alive. Ah! Look at this. Ah! 
That's a sand dollar. Like it's for underneath. That is like it's little legs. Look at that. Sand dollar, see? It's pushing 4.30 and we need to get into a hotel and get these boys showered. I haven't had a shower in more days than I like to admit. Oh, you gotta carry him back. <laughs> Last hotel stay of the trip. Doesn't matter where in the world you go or how much money you spend, the part the kids enjoy the most is playing in the pool. <laughs> yeah. Seven pieces of checked luggage, two strollers, and about four carry-ons. Just simply check my rear view mirror. Oh yeah, there's nothing there. Love you, baby. You ready, Jacob? Let's go home. The house isn't burned down, that's good. We are home. It's about 2.30 in the morning and it feels good to be home. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed coming along for the ride. And just make sure to click like, let me know you like it. Thanks for watching guys. I'm gonna go get some sleep. It's been a long month. If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning and hit that bell button so you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching.